So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can configure your admin reviewer to get all these commands. So let's get started with the video. Okay, so what you would want to do is you want to go to open the toolbox right here and you want to get this basic admin essentials 2.0. See here, once you have this, you want to open this model by clicking this arrow button. And after that, you could just take this script and put it in server script service. And after that, you could just delete this. So, and after that, what you would do is you would take the script, and I'm not sure if the plugins really matter or anything. So, you just open the script by right clicking on it and pressing open. So what you would do is just instructions like just place this model in server script service. Um, so if you were to like um, like automatically set a user to like an admin or anything, so what you would do is you would take these square brackets and type in their user ID. So the user ID would be like if you go to like a player's profile and you go to the URL and see there's like those strange set of numbers, it's different for every profile. You could just copy that and that would be your user ID, not the entire URL though. And after that, what you would do is you would press and you would type in equals to and another set of quotation marks. And after that, you just type in their user ID. After that, that's it basically. But you have to type in the, the user ID with the actual username because if you were to just type in some random user ID and not like actually write in the correct username, then it wouldn't work. If you were to like, if you were to add more admins to this, then you could just add a comma and after that you could just start writing this all over again. So it would just be the same for admins, mods, and ban. So the band would be like they can't enter your game forever, I guess. Okay, so now we move on to the group configuration. So what you would do is you would get that group ID right there. So the group ID would be like if you were to go into a group, it's like the same thing with the user ID. So if you were to go into the group, and after that you could just get that strange set of numbers in the URL and after that you just copy it and paste it right in here. After that if you want to have like a certain rank where it could have like a specific admin. So if I were to write 255 which would mean like the actual um, the actual owner then you could just write the admin level so say like one two three or four so one would be the mods two would be the admins three would be the super admins and four would be the game creator so you could just write one two three or four so if you were to add another one you could just copy this entire bracket not the entire group configuration but this set of brackets right here if you were to just copy that you could just paste it right in here. It's not easy. So command configuration. Okay, so if you were to, so there's like certain commands in there. So if you were to like want a player to fly, then they would have, it says that they would have to have mod to be able to fly. But if you wanted to make it so only super admins can fly, you could just make it three. And you could do the same thing with the unfly, so you could just make this three. So it's your choice. Okay, so now we have the prefixes. So you could basically just change this prefix to whatever you want. So like this, or this, or this. I recommend using the colon, but you could use whatever you want. So if you were to, like, this would actually matter. So, like, if you were to... If you were to like type in a command, so let's say, um, no, let me just delete this real quick. 
And if you were to say, um, if you wanted to like fly yourself, then you would be able to type, type in this like this command. So um, fly me. So then you have to add this, the like, I don't know what you would call it, like the prefix. And after that, and after that you have the command and after that you type in who you want to fly. So now the kick reason, so basically, um, it's like what you would do, you could just type this to whatever you want. So like when you get, when someone like kicks you from the server, it would have this message pop up and same with the ban and shut down. And so the server message, this would be like, a, you know, like what, what would pop up. So like, say if I were to say T bricks message. I mean, like, if the, if the, like, server message were to pop up, then it would say tbricks message and say the message that you want. Okay. <clears throat> so Trello, Trello board, Trello app key, Trello token. I really don't know what that is. Um, so, so the creator debugging, you can just, it says, allows the creator to debug potential issues with the admin and donor put. Perks. So gives people who purchase an admin donation the ability to cape, put on, put hats on, etc. Okay. So public demand commands meaning will people that are not allowed with admin be able to say commands or clean? And auto clean will hats and gear automatically be cleaned up every so often. And the system color. So the system color would be like the color of the GUI. Okay. So you could just type in like this right here so this would be like the color that you want so if i want to type 255 then yeah so I do so total like okay show where the tools and give command will we'll get tools okay and command configuration and data store key okay so so you shouldn't really change this to anything because this is like the cape data and band data and all that. So I think that's really it. So that's all you need to know for the basic admin essentials. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And I would see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.